Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 129 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install develop presets into Lightroom. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because there's actually two different ways you could add presets to your Lightroom. And because I sell presets, a lot of times the more conventional way, the way I'm going to show you first, just doesn't work for some people and then I have to step them through the second way and a lot of people don't know the second way of how you could add presets to Lightroom so hopefully this will be of value to you now when you download presets from the internet and you have them on your computer just know where they are in your computer now in our case today we're gonna add two different sets of presets to Lightroom I'm gonna do one the first way which is the more conventional way I'll add one of these two either uh, the macro presets or the newborn child presets and then the second way the one that's less known I'll show you how to add the other bundle now the conventional way is you would go to the develop module of Lightroom and you'd go to your presets folder over here in the left hand panel now you see I have some presets there already all you need to do is create a folder first for those presets now to do that just right click on any of the folders that are already here it doesn't matter just right click on a folder and you'll see new folder so we're gonna get a new folder and we're gonna call it a name and I'm gonna call it um, Anthony M's macro presets okay just like that we're gonna click create now we have them right here now what you need to do is you see there's the little uh, expose triangle there if you click on that of course nothing is in that we didn't add any presets into that folder yet now we're just going to right click on that folder make sure you're on the folder that you want the presets to be in and we're going to click on import and when you do that either Mac Finder or Microsoft um, Windows Explorer will pop up and you want to go to where the presets are now in my case they're on my desktop and they're these macro presets and you can see here are all the macro presets now you have to select all of them now you could import them one by one but that's a little tedious you see as soon as I clicked on one the import button is now active well it's easier just to select them all and do them all at once and to do that there's all different ways to do that the easiest way is just click on one and if you have a Mac hit command A if you have a PC hit control A and you'll have them all selected then click on import and now when you go to Anthony M's macro presets you can see they're all there so it's very easy to add presets but I mentioned particularly for some Windows users I've had people that have purchased my presets and have had a hard time installing them that way it just wouldn't let them add more than one at a time so there's another way you could do it and this way is a little less known what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top preferences file or um, preferences part of Lightroom if you have a Mac it's under the Lightroom menu at the top if you have a PC it would be under the edit and you just want to click on preferences and you can see the second tab over is presets and if you go down about a third of the way down you'll see that there's this part here show Lightroom presets folder so we're gonna click on that and in my case because I have a Mac Mac finder comes up and of course if you have a PC Windows Explorer would come up now we have it highlighted on this Lightroom folder that technically isn't the preset folder and to make this a little less cumbersome I'm gonna close that down and I'm gonna minimize Lightroom and now we could see this a little better so we it selected our Lightroom folder but it really didn't select our develop presets folder so what you need to do is drill down to where it says develop presets which is right here and we could open that and there's all our presets you see we have the black and white HDR macro all the ones that you saw inside of Lightroom are here now to make this a little easier I'm just gonna double click on this so we have them in a window all by themselves now we're missing these Morganti newborn and child presets so 
we're just going to add them to here by just dragging them into this um, into this folder. I'm going to click move and now they're there. So now those presets are in this folder inside of Lightroom. Now if you go back to Lightroom you'll see that they're not there. What you need to do is just close Lightroom down, quit Lightroom, and then go back and reopen Lightroom. And whenever Lightroom decides to open, you'll see that, there they are, towards the bottom, Morganti Newborn to Child presets right here. And okay, now we could rename it. I have them set up as Anthony M's such and such. So we could just right click on this and click on rename. And we're going to call that Anthony M Newborn. child presets like that click OK now you see it's in alphabetical order so it's right there we open it up and there's all our presets so that's two different ways you could add presets into Lightroom develop presets into Lightroom thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon